Hi friends, welcome to Aiming Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to run a Python Flask application as a Windows background service using NSSM. Let us think we have a server file, something like server.py. And if you want to run this server, what you're going to do is you're going to open a command prompt here. And in this folder, you're going to run Python server.py. And now your server is running. But if you close this command prompt, your server will stop running. So in order to make this server running, you have to always have a command prompt open. And this can be a little annoying because you always have your command prompt in your taskbar and people can close this command prompt, right? So this is the problem we are going to address in this video. Wouldn't it be nice if we host this command prompt process in a Windows background service? In Windows, there is an application called services and in these services, you can see a lot of background services already are running in this Windows. So if we can make this command prompt process which is our Python Flask application as a Windows service, then you don't need this command prompt and your application will be still running and you can manage your application from this application, you can start or stop or restart your command prompt application. So that's what we are going to achieve using NSSM. So if you want to learn how to develop web applications using Flask, I've already got a playlist. You can easily learn the introduction and basics of running a Flask application in Python. I will leave the link of this playlist in the description so you can check it out if you want to learn about Flask. All right, what is NSSM anyways? So NSSM is the non-sucking service manager. So basically it's a program which can run processes as Windows background services. So NSSM runs commands or batch files as Windows background services. So because of that, using the services application, you can even easily manage the services by right click and restart, stop, start, something like that. And even in the command prompt, you can programmatically manage the services using the SC command, which we'll be going through in a minute. So how can you use NSSM in your computer? It's really simple. Download the zip file of the NSSM from this URL nssm.cc slash download or you can even have the download button here and here you can just download the latest release for Windows. This is going to download a zip file for you. So you are going to download a zip file and open this zip file and you have an NSSM folder here. You can just copy this folder and paste this in the C drive. So I've already pasted my NSSM in my C drive and you can see this is the NSSM folder and now we have installed NSSM but it will not be accessible through the command prompt. In order to make it accessible to the command prompt, you have to add NSSM's folder to the path variable. So that's really simple. Go to the system environment variables, edit the system environment variables and here click on the environment variables and in the system variables search for path environment variable and double click the path environment variable and i already kept this path c nssm 2.4 here you can see c nssm 2.4 so this is the path because yeah in win64 my nssm.exe is present so i have to keep the path of c nssm 2.24 win64 so now i have kept the path of nssm in my system environment variable called path so if it's not present you have to create a new path just click on that and write the path here just copy this path here and click on new and paste it here that's it now you have the nssm path in your system environment variable all right now we have successfully installed nssm you can just verify that go to the command prompt and since we have added nssm.exe folder in the systems path variable when i write nssm.exe you have to see options of nssm this is possible because you have added the path of nssm.exe in the systems path system variable so if you write nssm.exe and you get some options that means you have successfully installed nssm.exe so that is how to install nssm just download the zip file and place it in the c drive and keep the path of nssm.exe in the systems path variable that's all all right now let's try to use nssm to run a python flash server in the background as a windows service so for that i need an example flash server right so for that i've taken a blank folder and I have created a python server.py already. I'll just show it to you. I'll just open it in VS code. And it's just a basic python server which will return you the text hello world if you visit the URL at localhost port 5000. So let's try to run this and see how it runs. So let's run this python server. And it's running. Let's go to the browser and visit localhost 5000. Now we got hello world because this python server is running in the command line. The first thing I'm going to do is I'll create a batch file which will run this server. 
So I'll just create a file. I'll just name it run server.bat and let's create a command which will run this server, which is very simple. Call python server.py and save this batch file. All right, now I've got my batch file ready. You can just run this and run the server, right? Just double click this. You got your server running by double clicking this batch file. All right, now I got my batch file which can run this server. So that was step one, create a batch file to run the server. And the step two is use NSSM to run the batch file as a background service. So first thing you're gonna do is run this bunch of commands. So let's go through these commands and see what they do. The first thing is NSSM install name of the application. It can be any name. It will be the name of your background service. And in my case, the name is my flask app. So NSSM install my flask app run server.bat and this percentage percentage CD means it will replace your current folder location. You can even give the absolute folder location, but it's like a convenience. So this will register your batch file as a background application. Let's go to the next command, which is NSSM set my flask app. This is the name of your background service, right? NSSM set my flask app app standard out. And here you are giving the path of a text file. So what basically these two lines do is they will channel the command line text output to a log file because since your application is running as a background service, it should show text somewhere, right? It can't show text in a screen because it's a background service without giving the path of a log file. It will throw an error because it doesn't have any way to log its output. So you have to compulsorily set the path of a text file where the command line outputs will be logged. So these two lines do that. Your program output will be locked to the same file and your program errors will also be locked to the same file. And then the next command is NSSM set service name rotate files one. That means, you know, if you run your flask application for a prolonged time, the log file can become very huge that it can go into GBs. So in order to mitigate that problem, you can rotate your log files. That means after some condition is met, your log file will be recreated and the old logs will be sent to your new file. So this flag actually sets it. So NSSM set service name app rotate files one. That means logs will be rotated. And next NSSM set service name app rotate online one. This means even when your application is running, when the criteria is met, log rotation will be done. So this is important because if you don't switch off your Flask application, then log rotation will not happen, which will not serve a purpose. That's why you have to keep app rotate online one. And then the next command is NSSM set the background service name app rotate seconds 86400. That means for each day your log file will be rotated. That means if you keep running uh, application using NSSM, then each day one log file will be created. And this command says NSSM set the service name app rotate bytes 1048576. Basically what this says is 1 MB. So what you're telling is if your logs cross 1 MB, then also you can rotate your log file. And then finally, you're telling SC start flask app. So what SC command is, is basically it's an inbuilt Windows command, which will start or stop or control any background service. So you're telling to start the background service, which has been registered by NSSM by the name my flask app. So it's pretty simple. What we're doing is installing a service, setting the log files path, and then, you know, setting up the log rotation so that you don't get huge log files as the time passes and then you're just starting the service that's it so you don't need to memorize this you just need to understand this you can copy this command from a blog post i will leave the link of my blog post in the description let's try to run each command individually so first let's try to open a command prompt here and one more thing is that you have to run your command prompt as an administrator so let's try to open a command prompt as an administrator i'll just see command prompt run as administrator and now i got my command prompt running as an administrator but there's a problem the command prompt is running in c windows system 32 but i want my command prompt to run in this folder so i'll just copy this folder path and i'll just say cd between this inverted commas space the folder location and now you got your command prompt running in your folder and let's try to run our first command which is call nssm install the name of the background service and you're telling run server.bat so just click this and now we got your my flask app installed successfully now your background service is actually installed but it's not started and the next thing is you have to set the log file output right so let's create a folder here i'll just create a folder called logs because i'm setting that the logs file should be created inside this logs folder because as the time passes by you may have hundreds of log files and it doesn't look good when your log files are along with your python files so i just created a folder called logs and now i'm gonna run my next command 
which is nssm set my flask app standard output as the folder location logs my flask app logs dot log you don't need to create this log file but you have to ensure the logs folder is present and we have did that already we got the log folder here so i got this folder logs so i got my folder ensured so i can just click enter and that parameter is set the next command is nssm set service name standard error location which is the current folder logs and the same file name so let's click enter so now my standard error output log file is also set and then i'm telling nssm set the background service name app rotate files one that means log file rotation is enabled and then i'm telling call nssm set my background application name app rotate online one that means you are enabling online log rotation and then you're just calling the command call nssm set my background service name app rotate seconds it is on forehand that means for each 10 new log file will generate it and then the next command is call nssm set my background service name app rotate bytes 104576 that means for each 1 mb a new log file will be generated even if it's in a single day and now all my background service settings are being done and i want to just start my background service so for that i'm going to write sc start my flask app because the name of the background service is my flask app right so let's click this and then you can see start pending now let's go to our services and let's try to refresh our services and let's see my flask app it's here it's running and you can see the properties and you can just you know start stop pass whatever you want and you can even log in your flask with another account so that it can have privileges like network folders or doing some administrative stuff etc because if your flask application is doing something which requires the user privileges or administrative privileges it might fail because it's running on a local system account in that case you have to run with your user account and if you want your flask application to start when the pc starts you can just click this as automatic by default it's automatic that means if your pc starts or restarts automatically your flask application will start and that's really a cool thing right all right let's try to test if your application is working so i'm going to localhost 5000 and you can see hello world and i'm not having any command prompt open and it's running as a background service as a proof you can just stop this service and let's try to reload this and you're going to get nothing you can see it's still reloading and after some time it will give you page not found you can see that and let's try to start this and let's try to run it again and now you got the application running so now we have successfully registered a flask application as a windows background service using very less commands these are the commands you don't need to memorize them you can just copy paste and just replace your my flask app with your application name and one more thing i'll just show you the output of the command line here you can see inside the logs folder automatically a new file is generated which is my flask app logs .log because in our command line we told that the log file should be generated under this name and the same name is being generated here let's try to open this with notepad and now you can see all your logs are being logged which are actually logged in the command prompt and this can also serve you as the application logs so this is an additional advantage of using nssm because you can happily store your logs in test files which can be useful for future purposes like going through the logs or checking logs something like that all right now i have shown you how to use nssm command line but actually i didn't show you how to use nssm gui it's actually very easy than this I'll just open the command prompt and here there's a very simple command nssm edit your service name which is my flask app and click enter it's telling our administrator access is required so let's try to open a command prompt as an administrator i'll just open a command prompt run as administrator and now i'm going to write nssm edit my flask app and now you got a very useful gui all the command line parameters can be set from the gui also the path of the application which is run server.bat and the startup directory which is going to the same directory as the run server.bat and then you can see in the io tab i got my output path where my command line logs will be generated it is the same thing which i have set through the command prompt you can change this now using this gui and then the file rotation options which i've kept 87 400 seconds and 1mb all this is already done through the command prompt you can even change it using the gui without using the command prompt and at the end you can just click on the edit service and your service will be updated so that's how you can edit the service of nssm using gui using this nssm edit command without even remembering the commands and this we have already seen how to manage windows background services just go to the command prompt and write services 
and you'll get a services app just open it and here you can see all the services and here you can see your service which has been installed using nssm you can just start stop pause restart whatever you want and you can even set whether the service starts along with the pc startup you just go to the properties and here you can see startup automatic manual the next thing is how to manage the service without services.msc application you can even do it with the command line using these very simple commands if you write sc delete my flask app your flask service which has been installed by nssm will be deleted or else if you want to stop this you just write sc stop your service name instead of going to the gui you can just write sc stop sc pass sc start you can use the sc command to control your service through command line and one more command which is very handy is sc query using sc query you can see the status of your flask application so i'm writing sc query my flask app and click enter and you can see the service name and the status of the service and here you can see the state is running so now you can see the flash server is running through the command line without opening this services application so this is also a handy command sc query and that's it guys using very minimal steps you can run your flask application as a windows background service and it will start automatically when your system reboots this is so useful that you can use this technique for production deployments if it is running in a single windows server you can see i have created a blog post on running a python flash server as a windows background service using nssm i have also given you the source code the command so that you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer i've also given you the references to the official documentation so that you can do further reading please feel free to give your valuable feedback or ask any questions in the comment section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching peace